LPGA Meta Hill Championship. Grant Boone and Morgan Pressel watching Danielle Kang began round three with a one shot lead. Here she is at one. Yeah, beautiful approach shot here. Made seven birdies around this difficult golf course yesterday. This is the eighth, and Danielle Kang being watched by Karen. Well, I mean, she couldn't hold the green. She was playing a second shot from the rough, and that is a nice little delicate chip there. Leaderboard at 11 players within three shots at the top. All chasing two players at eight under, including oh. Danielle Kang. Really solid with this club, Tom. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. She didn't look too happy, but I don't know why. That one's fine. This is the area of her game, though, that she says that she has the most amount of trust in. Oh, took a big first hop, didn't it? Yeah, I think that simply just missed her spot by about a yard, Tom. She lands it a yard shorter, it's in the upslope and stops quicker. Um, it's important to feel the heat from that because you can imagine Danielle's intensity right here. Imagine what that's like at the Solheim Cup. I mean, Morgan, you've played on a team with her. You can speak exactly what that's like. This is a, a serious, more, most likely I'm going to get my stopwatch out talk. Yeah, players, groups will get a warning when they're out of position and then if they're not able to make up time. For Danielle Kang, who's seen and experienced a little bit of everything. It makes all the difference in the world. She knows exactly what her body does when she's told to hurry up and be on the clock. It's happened to her before. She knows how to handle it. In fact, I'm not sure that there's much she couldn't handle. Nice position here for Danielle. And this really playing into her strong point. Mid to long iron play. A little overdrawn. Such heavy air to play in. Uh, Karen, that's a great point. The last few days has been so clear. So players have been adjusting their numbers to relatively warm San Francisco weather. Today is going to be drastically different. Daniel can be a wizard with this club, though. That looked like an unusual stroke from her. It looked like more of a wishy stroke there, Karen. It's not what you want. Five times a winner on the LPGA Tour, including a major championship. That was the first of the five. Serious athletic ability to get this anywhere around the green. Yeah, that's just brutal. So it looked like she was trying to be relatively aggressive there. It was a big swing, wasn't it? Taking a lot of club. Danielle Kang with the third. Slight downhill lie. Got 85 to the hole. Again, just a little bit downhill. She Ooh. said she was going to trust her short game this week. Wow. I would say this is, uh, if she puts a positive stroke on it, there's not much in this. Yep. There you go. Good up and down. It's hmm. keeping your wits about you there. That's uh, not getting too flustered when you get a bad break in that bunker. What a cool scene this is, Kang at 12. Using a seven iron. And with this left hole location, you can start this middle of the green, try and draw it towards the hole. Just like that. She has 144. This one's starting a little left, trying to fade towards the right. She said it hit that so good, I think. And uh, the ball's reaction on the green will give you an indication that it was a good strike. Opportunity at 15 to get a shot or maybe two back. I mean, it's, this golf course really brings wonderful balance to the scorecard. And when you talked about this hole being beautiful, I think when you stand on the tee, you can admire that. Uh, but you also know that it's a challenge, and that one's going to cling on down the right side. Very nice drive there. Something that keeps you tuned in is the fact that you love this area so much. You love San Francisco, Daly City, and this golf course. Why is it specifically you are so connected to this area? Uh, you know, I first came here in 2012 for the U.S. Junior, uh, U.S. Junior Girl. We talk about how difficult this hole is. It's actually playing stroke average of 4.46 the par 5 next hole is playing 4.33 I think you could I mean I could almost say that that's what she does on every single hole but there's just that little bit extra incentive there given that the golf course she gave the golf course a head start you think she's going to get this one to the hole Karen <laughs> it'd be hard to leave it short don't you think well, she said she's loving that putter right now to today confident with that club 
She's left a few putts today out to the right like that. Probably the third or fourth putt we've seen since we've come on air. And how changing her perspective on the golf course with regards to playing in cold weather has really helped. Stays white hot. That was a great stroke. That was the best stroke we've seen from her today. I think when you're talking to, about somebody who's not comfortable playing in the cold, some part of that is how constricted and limited your swing feels sometimes when you have all the layers of clothes on. Is putting the ball in the hole. That's the only thing that ultimately matters, the number on the scorecard. See which way this goes at the end. It stayed pretty straight. So that's kind of the fall line there. Boy, that was speedy, wasn't it? Yeah, the putt. So precise with this shot here. You don't want to leave it in the bunkers in front of you. And but the last place you can hit it is over that hedge. She's had to dig in. Getting good contact on this is tough. The, the lip in front of her is quite steep. And there's Cute. out of bounds. Oh, that's thin. Long. That's thin. That's thin. Is it out of bounds? Out of yep. bounds over the green. Wow. It was just a, a really aggressive layup, and I think she was trying to hook it as much as she can to try and get it down towards the front of the green, but I didn't really see the need for it. <laughs> 